Hey everybody, welcome back to Balthazar's Pagan Garden, and this episode's not about gardening. This episode is about respect. I was hoping not to have to do one of these episodes, because I assume that those people who watch my videos are understanding and respectful and have common decency, and I'm actually going to, based on that assumption, going to chalk the first negative comment that I've ever received on the channel in the year that I've been doing this up to ignorance and not stupidity. Let me, let me clarify real quick. As my father always used to say, you can, you can fix ignorant, but you can't fix stupid. What that means is that those people who do things because they don't know that those things are hurtful or wrong are ignorant. All they need to be is educated. Uh, they just need to be told, you know, this is what everything is. This is why things are. Those people who are stupid are doing it on purpose. They know the information. They're just choosing not to listen to it. And that makes them stupid. So if ever I say such and such stupid person on this channel, which I'm hoping this will be the first and last time I have to mention this, that's what I'm talking about. Okay? Good boy. All right, go on. All right. So I got a reply to my last mini-sode uh, from somebody. I'm not going to name names, but if you look at the last episode, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the person who wrote me said their answer for the contest, which, about the contest, I was not very specific. I rewatched the video and I realized I was being kind of general. Um, it's a coffee filter. Obviously, it's meant for filtering. That's what I'm going to use it for. Yes, it is a filter. But a filter where? That's the important part. So, if you can figure out where I'm going to put this in the compost tea brewer, that's what I'm looking for, for an answer. But, they followed up the answer to my uh, contest with something that I found rather insulting and it blew my mind I'm like where did that even come from because I don't remember saying anything even remotely like that so I rewatched the video and that's how I knew that my contest question wasn't exactly the most specific in the whole world um, but uh, I rewatched the video I listened to how I, I talked through it. The only part where I mentioned paganism was when I was talking about Balthazar's Pagan Garden, the sign that my wife made for me, uh, which I think is beautiful. You know, the sign is gorgeous. The fact that she made it for me is gorgeous. So, you know, I, I don't understand where the question came from. Uh, the question or statement that they said was, so you think Satan is going to win the oncoming war then? Question mark. Okay, there's several dozen things wrong with that. I'm only going to go over a few. First off, assuming that somebody who calls themselves pagan even remotely follows the Christian pantheon is silly. Honestly. Um, the Christian God, the Christian devil, the angels, all of those fall into the Christian pantheon. They fall under the Christian mythos. Okay? They do not fall into the domain of Hinduism, or Buddhism, or Taoism, or any of the other religions that you see on the world. Uh, ancient Nordic practices don't mention Jesus. They don't mention God. 
They mention Odin and Thor and Ragnarok. So this is one of the reasons I think that the person who left the comments is just ignorant is because they are assuming that their pantheon represents everyone. It doesn't. Okay? Secondly, assuming that somebody is evil because they worship a different religion than you is bigoted and stupid. Okay? I'm not going to call you stupid because I believe you said what you said out of ignorance. Okay? But to assume that somebody who has different beliefs than you is evil is stupid. Even the Pope, the the guy who runs the Catholic religion, said it doesn't matter what faith you believe in. If you leave this world having led a good life, you know, an honest, whole, you know, wholesome life, then you'll go to wherever it is you're supposed to go. And, and of course, from his perspective, that's heaven. Um, now, I don't know if you're, uh, I don't know if you're Catholic, if you're Baptist, if you're what, uh, Southern Evangelical, I don't know. I, I really don't. Now, you have your right to walk your path the way you see fit. And you have your right to share your views. I share mine on this channel. But I have my right to walk my path. I don't lead a life filled with what is commonly known as evil. Okay? I don't drink very often. I have a drink maybe once a month. You know, I have a happy family. I have a child. I have a wife who is Mormon. So, entirely different spectrums. Um... And my pantheon doesn't include the Christian God, the Christian devil, angels, none of that. My pantheon includes Miliki, goddess of the earth. She's under my feet. She's in the air I breathe. Her blood is the water that I drink. And then Tapio is the masculine side of my deities. Tapio represents the inner strength. He is what allows people to persevere. You know, like the, the stories you hear about the people who uh, break both of their legs in a skiing accident and drag themselves 12 miles to a shelter so that they can survive. That inner strength is what Tapio provides. But I also have, you know, other deities. Grandfather, son. You know, Grandfather Sun is one of my deities. Um, Ilazki, the moon goddess, represents the moon. She watches over uh, Miliki. She is her defender. She guides the dead to the crossing between the veil. You know, um, I believe in fae, uh, fairies. Yeah, and I believe in the Morrigan, who is the queen of the fae. I believe in the Kaliak, who is the white witch who rides and, and drags the blanket of snow over the goddess in the winter months. Now, these are the things that I believe in. They're not even closely related to what Christians believe in. And yes, I celebrate holidays that are very similar to Christian holidays. And I'm not going to get emotional or fired up about this because I'm going to state actual historical fact a majority of the pagan holidays which a lot of pagans practice yule easter you know stuff like that they are pagan holidays but they have been co-opted by christians and turned into christian holidays like christmas which is yule you know it's also saturnalia you know there's a lot of holidays that share the that time of year, not just Christmas. Uh, Easter, Aoster, uh, ancient Celtic holiday. Uh, it's a fertility celebration. Uh, it usually happens around the spring equinox. 
you know. Um, so, no, I don't think it's okay for you to ask me if I believe Satan is going to win the oncoming war. Because my response to that is, A, what oncoming war? I've read the Bible seven times. And there's no mention of an oncoming war. There's a mention of the Antichrist raising an army to do battle against the armies of heaven. But that's not very specific, for one. For two, who says that it's coming soon? For three, according to several versions of the Bible... Lobo, quiet! According to several versions of the Bible, the war between heaven and hell is something that, you know, is going to be uh, a precursor, you know, not a precursor, sorry, the precursor to that battle is going to be the rapture. So the only people left on earth at that point will be those who do not believe in God. Me and pagans like me. That doesn't mean we're on the side of the devil, because the devil is actually a very recent creation in the whole scheme of human history. Um, but I try very, very hard, very diligently, to show Christians respect on my channel. I understand all of us view things differently. The point of my channel is very simple. I want to take you through my garden, take you through the projects I do, tell you what each thing means to me, you know, what the whole experience means to me, growing, food, you know, the associations I take uh, to my religion, things of that nature. Um, so I try very diligently to show everyone respect for their beliefs, and I simply ask that you do the same. I'm not going to delete the comment, like some posters do. Um, I'm not going to reply to the comment, because that's what this is for. But um, just know that you know, if you were the one who left the comment, I believe you left it out of ignorance. And you know, for that, I apologize if I wasn't clear enough, if I didn't explain myself well enough for you. And I hope that this video helps make things a little clearer. I just want everyone to have the same level of respect, uh, be given the same level of honor on my channel um, as I try to give to every one of you. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry if this was a little on the ranty side. Uh, I tried to make it very clear and concise. But it is running a bit long. It looks like 13 minutes or something. Um, so, I'm going to end with what I've decided to end my channel with uh, every single time. And I'm going to explain it so that it's clear again. Blessed be to you and yours. And by that, I mean, may blessings be upon your household. May your gods, God goddesses, whomever, grant you good favor so that good things will happen to you. And the second half of it is merry meet until we meet again. So in other words, it was good seeing you. I hope that you fare well until next we meet again because I would like to meet with you again and share what I would have to, to show you. And honestly, I respect each and every one of you with all of your varying beliefs, all of your varying religious structures. I'm one of the very few people who bring religion into gardening on YouTube. Um, and so I was expecting this a lot sooner, <laughs> to be completely honest. But um, thank you again for stopping by the garden. Thank you for listening to me, uh, and blessed be to you and yours, and merry meet until we meet again. Bye-bye.